Our neighbors from Experience Jackson, Marketing and Development Manager, Rachel Buchanan. Hi, Rachel. Good morning. Hello. Happy to be here. You just gave Rachel one of those Clawson's <laughs> jelly beans, pickled jelly beans. How was it? It was an experience <laughs> I will never forget. There's more if you'd like to take, <laughs> take some with you. I can say I'm satisfied. <laughs> uh, you've got an event today. Yeah, oh. there's, there's so much going on. Yeah, this afternoon, we are gathering restaurants together. I was on with you the other day, and uh, we're getting ready for the Jackson County Restaurant Week, which will be coming up in April. But uh, to have the Restaurant Week, we need the restaurants to join us. So if you or someone you know owns or operates one in Jackson County, we would love to see you this afternoon. It's 2 o'clock at the Grand River Brewery. We'll Very be hosting cool. an informational meeting. So exciting. That'd be great to uh, get your restaurant uh, on that list, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, we're looking to involve people countywide. So okay. Grass Lake, Concord, Rives Junction, you know, Brooklyn, wherever wherever there is food being served, um, there, there is potential. Other uh, cities have restaurant weeks and mm -hmm. they do different things and they, I guess they're different in every town. Yeah. What, what's yeah. our restaurant week gonna be like? Well, we're gonna, we're gonna start out fairly simple for both the restaurants to work alongside of us. Uh, Grand River Brewery really was the one who kind of sparked the interest mm -hmm. and brought the idea to us and uh, we're okay with that. We, we don't mind eating. Um, so it's gonna be a simple setup. Basically, people will come to the restaurants that participate there'll be a special $15 menu option. Uh, whatever that restaurant deems is a, is a great option for them. Um, might be a few to choose from. Uh, you purchase one of those, you get your little punch card, you get a punch in that, and if you hashtag it with um, Taste of Jackson, you get extra entries. And at the end, you can win some prizes and uh, gift cards to go back to some of those restaurants to keep on eating. You can't lose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've become a restaurant town. I think so. I love it. Now you've been expoing. You've been at a yeah. golf expo, yes. wedding expos. How's yes. expo season gone for you? Absolutely wild. So a couple weeks ago, we were in, where were we? Grand Rapids <laughs> for the weekend. <laughs> we were somewhere over there. Um, this weekend, our team, the whole team is on board and we are splitting up between the Chicago Golf Show and the Toledo Golf Show mm. just at once. So I'm headed to Chicago. It's actually... Um, couple degrees cooler over there. So I would go we'll to the Chicago one over the Toledo one, yeah, so I'm glad time. you're going yeah, to that one. Good. <laughs> yeah, and um, then in a couple of weeks, we'll be over in Novi for, nice. the, for that show. But yeah, Ella Sharp Museum had their first bridal show a couple weekends ago. Mm -hmm. It was a part of that. Um, some very excited ladies getting <laughs> married um, in Jackson and great connections with them. And so just a lot of, of in-person things. And did you know that next Friday is March? What? Oh, no, not already. Next Friday is March, my favorite month. <laughs> really? Six days later, my birthday happens, so uh. it's a good time of the year. <laughs> um, but in March, uh, of course, the schools and um, LeVar Burton and, you know, all the people, Dolly Parton and everybody encourages you to read during the March. <laughs> Even Bart was March. on a poster last yeah, year. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we're headed into reading month and our very own mascot, Jack the Elephant, um, goes to school <laughs> with me and uh, we do a little reading. So he's... He's catching up on his, his coloring book is also a storybook about oh, Jackson. Very good. So each page talks about a different feature and different thing you can experience. So, But Jack can't talk, so how can he, he read to the kids? Well, I go alongside. Oh, okay. I, I'm a reader with him. <laughs> um, he is very active and uh, makes the motions and the acts, kids love acts Jack, out Jackson they? County. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness, Big yes. Big time. Yeah. We usually go with um, the kindergarten and first grade classes, so... Fun. You know, they really have to look up, and that's well, great. We've but got to save the date. Uh, you're doing Jackson County Museum Day again, mm -hmm. and you have the date picked out. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I regularly will say something like, you know, Experience Jackson is in the business of promoting things and marketing and getting the word out there and getting people to come here. But there are a couple things that we do on our own to bring uh, some of our attractions together. So that restaurant week I was talking about earlier, and uh, Jackson County Free Museum Day. I believe this is the 7th event um, for a free museum day and uh, all the details will be coming together i'll be working alongside of our um, 13 area museums hopefully most of them will participate again mm -hmm. this year but that is our date it's always mother's day weekend it's that saturday so we're looking forward to may 11th this year uh, before that comes we do have some events yet this winter and uh, mm -hmm. early spring <laughs> very wintry <laughs> event and yeah. today scraping the frost off the windows feels very appropriate the blizzard bazaar of course, making its debut this Saturday. We're excited about everything going on downtown and 
all the interesting things I hear. There's like a like a frozen Nerf war type thing going mm. on as a part of this, and the ice sculpting competition. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited Just, to see that. Yeah, I mean that that's something new for Jackson. You see that around in different areas, and I'm so excited it's coming here uh, to the Jackson area. So will you give people chainsaws to uh, <laughs> sculpt <laughs> ice, or well, there will be professionals from what I hear doing oh, that okay. part, and then like you'll it's like a like the show nailed it when you try to make a cake like a professional okay. and it's mm -hmm. floppy that and horrible like. Something like that where you can participate with less sharp things. Kind of maybe the equivalent of like those like plastic pump pumpkin carvers at Halloween. Yeah, that maybe kind of a little plastic something chisel like or that. something yeah. for you. Nice. Nailed it. <laughs> That'll be fun to watch though. Oh, yeah. yeah. We've never seen that here yeah. in town no. before. So, uh, that's good. Then, uh, then March, you've got a list mm -hmm. of events in March. I saw Spin Doctors on here. Spin I doctors. know. That's from They're our part era. of the Potter Center lineup that's, this year. It's crazy. amazing. Yeah. They've got uh, the uh, Celtic ladies coming in to bring some Irish music and uh, that in the lineup as well. It's, it's been a good year for them. And mm -hmm. that's, um, I think that's March 16th. Yep. Yeah. It yeah. is. Um, we, we were at uh, Richard Marks uh, this oh, past Friday. Oh, yeah. I saw uh, that Friday. last week. Yeah. It was awesome. Uh, awesome show. I mean, Superstar, and mm -hmm. we're getting some great acts, and a lot of people are coming to Jackson uh, for events like that mm -hmm. and drinks and deceptions. We were there the yes. other night, and I think most of the uh, audience was from out of town. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's an international superstar. He, you know, when he's not playing here in Jackson, mm -hmm. he's he's everywhere. It's fun to watch him all over the place. But why not watch him here? You know, it's great. Yeah, so a lot of the reasons, and that's, I think, some of us long-timers don't realize that we mm -hmm. are, what you're doing is working. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For sure. People, yeah. are, people are visiting Jackson. Well, there are, yeah, it's, it's a team. Mm -hmm. You guys are a part of that incredible team, too. You know, it's, it's people really noticing what we have, talking about it, um, continuing to share that, and mm -hmm. um, being positive about it. And it's easy to be positive when such great things are happening. You know, we, you guys were talking about yeah. the haze a few minutes I ago. Know, it's that's exciting. That's incredibly, another incredibly thing, cool. Uh, another event that brings people to town, uh, the Southern Michigan uh, mm -hmm. Wine and Beer Festival. And that's coming up March 9th, which yeah. as you mentioned, it's almost March. So that is coming up. That's Saturday, March. Is it Saturday, March 8th? March Friday, 9th. Yeah. Saturday, March 9th. Yeah. So. They'll, they'll have some ice sculpting over there as well. Cool. So. So you're actually, you are doing a deep dive on these events to see where people are coming from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they're coming from far away. Yeah, we've, we've got some sneaky data that doesn't give away identities, <laughs> yeah. but you know, we all carry our phones and use mm -hmm. our credit cards and our identities kind of follow us digitally in that way. And um, we're really partnering with the uh, Jackson Chamber to help bring that to businesses too, to mm -hmm. help them improve, um, whether it's an attraction that someone would come for or a local business, um, mm -hmm. to know how to build up that business and do better. You know, we can kind of tell based on based on data and sampling and everything. You know, this this basic group of people for this particular mm -hmm. point of time in this area came from this place, and it's it's pretty exciting to look into that. So yeah. we're excited to see what that can do. Yeah, and it's uh, a lot of it is day trips like the mm -hmm. Southern Michigan uh, Winter Beer Fest. People yep. are coming. Mm -hmm. I know there's been people from as far away as Traverse City that mm -hmm. we we have buses those. every year that come in for that. Yeah. Yeah. So well, there's 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 some things coming down the road too. Multiple day events that are newer this year um, that encourage that kind of thing too. Where you know each each day of the event may have a different theme. Mm -hmm. Where they might want to come a Friday and a Saturday and stay into that mm -hmm. Sunday and. You know, those, those are really encouraging. We're excited about that. And Plenty they're coming back. They see Jackson as they've never seen it before. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's their first time here. And we're, we, we put on a, a f great first impression. Yeah. I think so. We do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. All right, so uh, restaurants get to uh, GRB this afternoon at 2 yeah. o'clock. Mm -hmm. We'll be there. Um, that is specifically for a restaurant. For people. a restaurant. Yeah, <laughs> don't go the, and eat. Yeah, it's not yeah. the beginning of restaurant week. Yeah. Uh, however, you can eat a great option. Yeah. Um, but then, yeah, the actual restaurant week, April 8th through the 12th. That's a Monday through Friday. And uh, one more time, Museum Day coming up May 11th, Mother's Day weekend, and more information will be coming out as uh, we get closer to that day. Rachel, thanks so much as always. Yeah, thank you. From Experience Jackson, Rachel Buchanan with us on The Morning Show. We'll be right back after this.